How can you get students started when solving a complex problem like Jasper? Allison starts by having the whole class brainstorm. What are some things you think might be important? You have to think back to the beginning of the story where he said how much time it'll take and how many miles it'll fly. Okay, those are some good things in the video that you're going to have to think about. What else? Sam. When they were saying at the beginning um, how much gas it could hold and um, then how much gas it would, the, the um, plane would fly on for how far. Okay, good. Ashley? Um, well, you might need to think about how much cargo and how many pounds it can hold so you can make me carry the eagle in the plane. Good. What I'd like to do now is have you work in your small groups. Allison has students continue brainstorming, but this time in small groups. Because Jasper Adventures contain a lot of embedded data, students have many opportunities to contribute. Every member of the group is needed to find all the clues. Teachers are often concerned that low achievers won't be able to be active participants, but that's not necessarily the case. I was surprised at the kids that had a hard time and those that didn't. My lower level kids seem to be able to pick up so much more than what I thought they would be able to. It gave them a lot of self-confidence to know that they can come up with an idea that is useful in solving an episode or just a little piece of it that it couldn't be solved if they hadn't come up with that part. People treated them as part of a group. They really enjoyed it. Allison uses a flash of the lights to signal that it's time to come together as a whole class. Each group gets a chance to share their reasoning. Well, the eagle weighs 15 pounds, we found out. So, a lot, if, we, if you decide to fly the plane, along with the weight of the driver and the cargo, you're going to have to add the weight of the eagle, bringing it back, which is 15 pounds. Good. Next group. Um, they said that the landing area was half the room they needed. Um, which was 2,000, I think, and something. So that would be important for so. the plane to have enough room to land. Okay, and you aren't quite sure how much it said When it students aren't sure about some of the data, so Allison encourages the them to look back on the video disc. What is it we would need to look for in the video? How much room the full room was, because they said it was half as much as they needed. Okay, anyone know where we might look for that information?